Hi, Tom Lanny, CEO of Tensor Base here, and I want to take a couple of minutes to describe our counter tensor counter tensioning system. And uh, this tensioning system replaces a conventional truss rod in the, the neck of the base. And the way it works is I have a cutout here, a cutaway view to show you exactly how the mechanism is set up. The rod anchors at the headstock, runs through the back of the neck under the fingerboard to this lever arm. Now from the lever arm there's a connecting rod that connects it to this string bar. And the way it works is that the strings exert their tension against the spring bar. So they're actually thread through the string bar. And that tension is redirected to the connecting rod and then to the counter tension system. So what you have is a closed loop system where the string tension actually generates its own counter tension. And this system doesn't rely on compressing the wood of the neck to generate the counter tension force. Therefore, it's not susceptible to those variations due to wood, moisture in the wood and also temperature uh, related uh, expansion and contraction of the truss rod. So to adjust the system, however, because we all know that setting a relief on the neck is something that you know, we uh, like to have some control over, depending on players' preferences, we have a force balance adjustment, which is composed of a pair of opposing compression springs with a balance bar. And the way that's adjusted is there is a uh, uh, Allen socket down in the end gear. And you access that, I'm going to take you over to one of our four strings here. You access that by unscrewing the strap button, inserting a 3 16 Allen wrench into the adjustment bar. And then <clears throat> you can set it by simply pressing on the string and measuring how much deflection you have. And that tells you about how much relief you have. To increase the amount of relief or increase the amount of bow, you turn the, the uh, wrench to the right. If you want to decrease the amount of bow, you turn it to the left. And you adjust until you get the setting where you want it. And it's a fairly simple process. Uh, it doesn't take you know a lot of uh, technical expertise to be able to do it. And <clears throat> the settings will stay pretty much where you leave them, um, even given a lot of different uh, environmental changes, such as humidity and temperature and so forth. So it's an easy adjustment to make. Uh, it also has some added benefits in that uh, because you're, you've got a closed loop system, you actually get a little bit more sustain out of the, out of the string. And so it gives you a more sustain, less changes in, uh, with temperature and time, and uh, it just gives a much more stable neck. It also allows us to get a nice thin neck with some very comfortable ergonomic curvature to it, uh, which is due mainly to the stability created by the counter tensioning system. So that's it for today, and uh, look forward to coming back and talking to you again.